Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's card is a pretty quick and simple one using the hand-drawn dots stamp set from Stamping Up. It's a background stamp, just one large stamp, that stamps out these really, really cute uh, dot images. And I'm going to just do a pretty simple background using the Stamparagus today and a couple of inks. Um, so let, I'm using Night of Navy as my background and Daffodil Delight and Balmy Blue. Now I'm also bringing in um, the stamp set, the Thanks from the Fragrant Flowers stamp set and the dies as well to cut out that um, great image there. Now these, this, the stamp set, the stamp set and the Fragrant Flowers is actually in the mini catalogue. So page 28 you'll see um, background stamp there, hand drawn dots, and on page 21 you'll find the Fragrant Flowers Bundle, which has these gorgeous um, floral imagery uh, and nice big bold sentiments as well. So let's go ahead, bringing in my Stamparatus, which is our stamp, the stamping up positioning tool. I've already gone ahead and put the um, image on my plate here. So I'm bringing in a piece of Thick Whisper White, uh, basic white I should say. It's I'm going to have to cut it down to um, to fit because it, I don't want these um, blank edges here uh, to be stamped. So um, let me just show you. I'm going to bring in my Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going straight with the ink onto the stamp, just lightly tapping. I'm going to do a little bit more, I think, on this one. I might... It's probably going to be a bit of an overlap there, the balmy blue. What's really cool though is that we can go back over, so I don't like the colour. Uh, and um, I'm going to just do uh, maybe a little bit more there. Just to get a little bit more of an image there. What would be really neat is if you stamped onto um, a watercolour sheet here, you spritzed your stamp right there with the ink on it, you'd get a really neat watercolour effect but we won't do that today because we're just going for quick and simple and the great thing about this is if you had to make heaps of backgrounds um, you can you know, be able to get heaps made using this temperatus pretty quickly and it hasn't really come out in the middle there so I'm just going to apply a bit more pressure yep that's okay see I've got a little bit of a I've done a two-tone there which is okay and I'm just going to trim these pieces here off and in the trimmer. And there we go. So super cute. You could do it three. Um, you could just do one background colour if you wanted to. I just wanted to break it up a little bit. Now I've already gone ahead and stamped the um, thanks in um, Night of Navy, but if you wanted to, you could cut out your die cut piece. Just go straight at, at this die cut. It's a lovely big bold die, big die die, so it's easy enough to stamp directly onto your die cut piece if you want to. Just get rid of my inks out of the way. I'm also using a new ribbon, and it is a Knight of Navy um, ribbon. It's actually two tone. It's really, really pretty ribbon. It's also in the mini catalogue. I've put a link to also in the description bar below uh, for this product as well. I'm just going to make a quick little bow. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Just keep this nice and simple. I think. <laughs> she says. I just find it easier to put a staple in there just to keep it all together.
for them. Which internet's going to go here. Where have I put my dimensionals? Here they are. I'm using um, the pastel pearls as well. Very, very pretty pearls. Uh, they are also new in the mini catalogue. Directly down there. I've probably got that up a little bit higher than the last one. I might move it down ever so slightly if I can. I've got the ribbon up a little bit high. Let's just bring that down a bit. These are the pastel pearls. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, so if I could help it all zoom on. Let's go with three, I think. That'll do. And then onto our Night of Navy base. Those dimensionals sometimes look how they don't want to come off. Right. Spray on. Nice and easy card using that background stamp and a couple of Stamp pads, classic ink pads I should say. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I have put a link in the description bar below to all the products that I've used today. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye.